Welcome to the unboxing and setup video for the Epson T5470M inkjet printer. In this video, we will explore the contents and walk you through the step-by-step -step process of assembling the printer and preparing it for use. After removing the shipping tie-down straps with two people, slide the top cover box of the printer up and off of the printer. On top of the inner box, you will find the build instruction sheet for the stand. Remove each of the four cardboard support legs from the corners of the box. Again, with two people, carefully lift the upper box with the stand and place it on the floor. Open the box and pull back the plastic covering the stand components. Here you will find a small plastic bag with the necessary hardware to build the stand. From the base of each leg, pull each one toward yourself into place. Remove the blue tape and pull the locking lever into each side down, pushing it into place. Find the center support bar in the box and remove the protective sleeve. Place the center bar into position at the two slotted spaces on the legs of the stand. Using the Allen wrench in the back of components, find the four screws and in the two holes on each side, carefully tighten the four screws into place to hold and lock the crossbar firmly into place. Lift the stand out of the box and flip it over so that it is now on its wheels. Before discarding the box the stand came in, retrieve the catch basket components. Move the stand beside the printer so that it is ready to have the printer placed on top. Retrieve and install two screws from the stand components bag into the top holes of the stand as shown here. Push the locking levers of the caster wheels of the stand down to lock the wheels in place so it doesn't roll when placing the printer on top. Make note of the arrows on top of the stand, indicating the left and right sides and pointing to the front of the stand so you have the proper orientation when installing the printer. Make note of the lifting instructions on the printer, showing where to place your hands when lifting the printer. Also, be aware of the white alignment arrow that corresponds with the aforementioned black alignment arrow on the stand. On the top of the printer is a long brown cardboard envelope. This holds the scanner calibration target. Be sure to store this in a safe place in the event that in the future you need it for the scanner. In the protective styrofoam, you will find the ink cartridges, the power cord, and the instructions manual for setup of your printer. On the top of the printer, you will find setup instructions for the stand. Unwrap the protective plastic sheet from the printer. With no less than two people, carefully lifting with your legs and not your back, pick up the printer and place it on top of the stand assuring that the alignment arrows match up. Confirm that the alignment arrows on the printer and the stand match up to assure proper installation of the printer onto the stand. Retrieve the knob bolts from the stand components bag and hand tighten them connecting the stand to the printer. On the back of the printer you will find the plugs for the USB print cable as well as the ethernet cable connection. Remove all blue tape, protective plastic, and styrofoam from the printer. Remove the blue tape holding the core adapters onto the paper spindle and remove the spindle from the printer. The gray core adapters can be attached to the spindle end caps to allow you to convert from holding a two inch core paper roll to a three inch core paper roll. Remove the blue tape from the maintenance box door on the front of the printer. You will find two maintenance boxes behind this door, one on the left side, one on the right side. On the bottom front right side of the machine, you will find the door for the ink tanks. Open this door to install new ink tanks. Shake each ink tank to mix the pigment thoroughly before installing the cartridge into the corresponding color slide. Then close the compartment door. Insert the power cord into the plug in the back of the machine to power the machine. Do not plug the cord into the wall before attaching to the printer. Press the power button on the bottom left of the control panel. Follow the on-screen directions for setup in your language and time zone. At this stage, the printer will begin to fill the lines and print head with ink. While the printer goes through the inking process, you can lay out the parts for the catch basket and begin its installation. Unroll the fabric portion of the basket with a pole to the front and the fabric portion with the two loops to the back of the printer. Install the arms on each side of the catch basket by sliding the cross pole into the elbow joints of the arms and placing the other end of the catch basket arms into the corresponding slots on the base of the stand as shown here. 
Hook the loops at the front of the basket fabric to the hooks on the front of the printer stand by the basket arm base. Repeat by attaching the rear loops from the basket fabric to the hooks at the rear of the printer stand to keep the catch basket in place while printing. When not in use, the catch basket can fold up toward the machine to be stored out of the way. The control panel will now prompt you to load a roll of paper to do a nozzle check on the print head. To install a roll of paper, follow the instructions on the touchscreen. Open the top roll cover and remove the spindle from the printer. Remove the end cap from the spindle, and for a two inch roll, remove the gray core adapter from the end cap. Remove the core adapter from the other end of the spindle as well. With the black end cap of the spindle to the right side of the machine, slide a roll of paper onto the spindle with the paper wrapping over the top of the roll facing toward the front of the machine and press it tightly onto the end cap of the spindle. Slide the clear end cap onto the spindle and slide it tightly against the roll of paper. Following the instructions on the LED panel of the control pad, guide the lead edge of the paper into the front slide of the printer and roll the paper into the machine and then close the cover. Once the paper is loaded, the printer will print a nozzle check pattern. Pair the nozzle test pattern printout to the screen and make sure your print head is ready for use. If your test pattern looks correct based on the screen display, click OK and then click the Home button. On the home screen, press the Ford arrow. Next, press the Settings button. Then, press the Maintenance button. Next, press the Print Quality Adjustment button. Then, on the next screen, press Start so the machine can adjust to give the best possible printing quality. Make note that at the front of the machine is the scanner that can be opened forward to reveal the feed rollers on the back wall and a ruler on the top cover of the sensors to help guide when loading paper for scans. There are also gray sliding plastic guides which snap into place to further help align and guide paper into the scanner for copying and scanning documents. Thank you for watching this unboxing and setup guide for the Epson T5470M. As always, if you have questions regarding this printer, don't hesitate to reach out to 1-800-4LexJet or LexJet.com.